Hi, I'm Ted Pickens from BiteWiser.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a South Park character in Inkscape. Uh, I am using version 0.48.2. Let's go and change our uh, document properties and I just want to change the width to 640 pixels and the height to 330. Uh, I'm going to check border on top of drawing and uncheck show border shadow. I can close out of there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and uh, it's probably okay. And first thing we want to do is make the face of your character. It's just going to be a circle. Um, so I just grabbed a circle, press Control Shift, and click and drag. Make it kind of a eh, maybe not that big of a circle, but eh, there we go. Do an object path on that. And I'm going to change color to uh, this color here. I am using the uh, Ubuntu color set here. So. <coughs> So, um, next thing we can do is we can draw the eyes. Again, let's make a, we want to do a, not a circle, but kind of a oval that's close to a circle. And I'm going to do object to path on that. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to rotate just a little bit. And that'll be our one eye. Now, I'm going to go and do a control D on that to duplicate it. Rotate it. 180 degrees horizontally and I'm going to press my right arrow to move that eye over. That looks okay. Uh, for now, temporarily, I'm going to change those to black and move them on over. I'm going to group them by pressing Control G and now I'm going to select the face in the background by pressing Shift and then clicking on it and I'm going to align those eyes so that they're right in the middle of that face. So the face was the last thing I selected, so I'm going to select last selected, and I'm going to center that on the vertical axis. There we go. Connects out of there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup the eyes, so you do a control shift G, and I'm going to change those eyes to white by doing that. Next thing we can do is make the blacks of the eyes, so we just need a regular circle, and uh, that's, that's in black right now, but that's good. I'm gonna just resize that just a little bit, make those eyes a little bit smaller. Do an object to path. Bring that eye on over eh, somewhere close to the center of those two eyes. And a little bit lower. So there's one eye. Duplicate that by doing control D and press the right arrow to move that on over. Uh, in order to center these uh, within the eyes, I'm gonna group these by doing control G. I'm gonna, well, I guess I better uh, regroup the whites of the eyes again by doing control G. And I'm gonna select the blacks of the eyes by pressing shift and clicking on them. And now I'm gonna come down and do uh, another line distribute. The face, uh, sorry, the eyes, the whites of the eyes were the first thing that I selected. So I'm gonna align these blacks of the eyes right to the center of those. There you go. So we're starting to get something here. Now I'm going to draw the mouth, kind of like uh, like he's saying yeah or something like that. Right there. I've seen that face before on the show. I'm going to get rid of that uh, stroke, so I'm going to press shift and click on this X here. Now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And I want to make use the Bezier tool and make another kind of uh, straight line across here like a, a rectangle kind of like that I'm going to make the fill color white and I'm going to get rid of that uh, stroke again now what I want to do is uh, I want to duplicate the black part of the mouth here there you go control D I'm going to sh press shift and click on the white so I have both the black part of the mouth and the white selected and I'm gonna do a path intersection and there's our teeth for inside the mouth uh, last thing I'm gonna do is click on the black part of the mouth and I'm just gonna do a quick outset there's your mouth so that's looking pretty good already uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to draw the shirt um, 
just grab your bezier tool and uh, great thing about drawing South Park characters is that uh, these guys really are supposed to look bad so you should intentionally you know not take your time and make it look as lousy as possible at least that's what I think the creators did so I'm going to undo the stroke here and I'm going to move that by pressing end I'm going to move that behind the face and move it up just a little bit I think that face might be a little bit big so I'm going to press control shift and move that in just a little bit there we go um, next thing we can do is we can draw the pants which will just be pretty much like a a rectangle or something like that. There you go. Blue pants. Get rid of the stroke again. Move that behind the shirt. Um, I'm going to select the mouse pointer and just move this over just a little bit by pressing Alt and right arrow. That looks okay. I'm going to do the shoes real quick, which these are the shoes I make, which really isn't much, but Again, you don't need much. This is South Park and everything looks like garbage. So, there we go. I'm going to move this out just a little bit here to make it a little bit look more like the other side. And uh, last thing, well, not the last thing. I'm going to make the hands. So, make something kind of ovalish here. I'm going to use the same color here that I used for the skin up top. Object to path on that. And I'm going to move that right here. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. And now I'm going to go make the thumb. So do control shift and drag and make a little circle. And this time we actually want a stroke on that. So what you're going to do is you're going to press shift and click on a darker of these tan colors here. That way you can kind of tell the thumb from the hand. And I think the thumb's a little bit too big, so I'm going to do control shift and make that just a little smaller that looks good and I'm gonna go and select these group them by pressing control G and then I'm gonna do a control D to duplicate and I'm just gonna bring that right on over rotate that up here and I don't want that to be exactly the same as the other side so eh, something like that ought to do uh, there we go. Last thing we can do is uh, draw him some hair. So uh, I'll do uh, some crazy hair over here because this guy's just crazy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Um, color that yellow, get rid of the stroke. Yellow, get rid of the stroke. And maybe I want to add another thing of hair up here. And let's see, make that yellow, and the stroke. And move that around just a little bit here. Just move this around just a little bit more. And I don't like that. I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit, select this guy because this guy's screwed up like that and there you go so zoom out and there's our South Park character so so you can see everything oh so that you can see everything a little bit better I'm gonna make a oh perfect a blue background so you can see your guy so that's it that took what five ten minutes it doesn't take much to make a South Park character and uh, you can make yourself and your friend or your friends and you know, you can have a good time with it. So again, I'm Ted Pickens from BiteWiser.com. I'll see you later.